Everybody. Now, I know the one that everybody wants to see. Okay, it's, it's the email search, right? So, um, and I want to, before I make a search, I want everybody to understand this to see if, if, if there's any disagreement. I personally believe the email system for an organization is the most important data repository they have. In fact, if you are going to do a data migration from one system to another or move all your documents from one organization to uh, from one organization to another, the email system, especially from an acquisition standpoint for almost every company, is the transactional record of the, of the company. Everything that's essentially gone on in that company outside has gone through email. So all the documents, all the contracts, all the versions of the contracts, the bills, the payroll, the receivables, usually everything is going in and out of email. Um, it is the IP of the company. It is the mind share of the company. It is the ideas of the company are all in the email system. Um, and that they're shared with typically the Microsoft SharePoint platform or something similar to that. Um, so, so why for 20 years have we been able to search other repositories but not able to search the most important one? And in 20 years, not one advancement in the search of the email system has improved. Anybody who's used Outlook, I have been using it beginning. It's it's okay. I can't find I can't find attachments. I've got to search some kind of taxonomy. What was that person's name or what was that company media? What I can't. And I got 15 companies in my box that are media, something media. Um, you so, gotta you gotta hope you put it in the right folder for the most exactly. part. Exactly. Or That's you gotta hope you sort it in the right folder. And who keeps folders anymore, yeah. right? I mean, so, I got so many documents. I don't have time to maintain a folder anymore. So it's it's it for me. I'm I guess I'm disorganized, but at least I know it's in my email. Um, the G Suite, anybody who's used Google Mail knows that their search engine is dog, dog poop. It's terrible. You can't find anything. Anybody who's used their iPhone trying to search something on their iPhone system, can't find anything. Well, now I'm going to go in, now we've ported in 3,000 emails into the system, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to see if I can find the code for mobile, because I couldn't find it in the file share. So I'm going to go see if I can find an email. So I'm going to type in mobile into, my, into the email system. And I'm this, and this is a, a higher permission level, right? So that I can go and uh, search all my people's boxes. So first thing I want to say is this is searching the Microsoft Exchange server right now. Um, I'm going to go before I show you the search results and what it does. I want to let you know that that for every box, for and this is an IT group, for every person that's touched the term mobile, I have them. I know who they are. This is Ed, this is Ed Noel, this is Jacob, Stan, Emily, Stephen Plum, Gavin, uh, Tanaki, and Brian Belmore. These are all individuals that had something to do with a mobile deployment that was going on in our company. So for the keyword mobile, all of these individuals, for this, for this, um, for this, for these 3,000 emails that's in this one particular person's box, these are all the individuals that ever touched, touched the email. Um, I can tell whether it's in their inbox or their outbox, so I can cut carve this data down to where I can just figure out if I know that Mike McGuire, Mike McGuire says, hey, I sent you that code. I can go Mike McGuire sent and go, oh yeah, here it is right here. This is the laptop specs for the mobile. And this is an email from him. This is not a document, it's an email. So I want to go review that email. Yep, and here is the email talking about the mobile specs. This is what I was looking for. And here is an email. It was in Mike McGuire's sent box. So I called Mike, and Mike said, hey, I sent it to you like two years ago. So I just go right to his box and find it. Um, let me close that up. Let's say I'm say this is the document that I want, and the marketing team is doing something new with mobile. I could just grab this document and drop it right into the mobile box. And the team that I'm working for, or team that I'm working with now, now everybody has access to that document. These files can also be personal, and they can be group level. So you can slice and dice your file system any way that you want to. And if, as, you're, as you're not creating file systems in your Outlook, or most people aren't doing it anymore, just too many documents going back and forth, this allows you to go in and search a document you want, create you a folder on the fly, throw it in, send it to your boss, and make you look like a hero. Boss says, oh, you're very organized. When you're really not, you just have the tool to make yourself look extremely organized. Uh, as we talk about um, uh, the documents, so I'm going to go ahead and close this one here, and I'm going to. There's. I want to show a PDF which I showed earlier. What was this one? Let me just do another search here. Let's say I'm looking for reports in my email system. So what kind of? So this thing through the 3,000 emails that we put in here, this is breaking down a taxonomy. Am I looking for a quarterly report? Am I looking for the agreement? 
agreements. Um, uh, it's, it basically breaks it all down and says, yeah, I'm looking for a quarterly report from 2012. There was some information I, had, I wanted to get out of there, so boom, I am hitting the quarterly report, and now I'm able to see that that's the document that I want, and I can go ahead and open that document natively and go ahead and pull it right up out of my email system. So I'm, not, I'm no longer fidgeting around in my file share anymore, which nobody wants to do. Um, I can also search by date, so I can take the report that I wanted, and I can search it by the most relevant date, either last or first, newest or, lat or oldest, either way you want to do it, um, breaking down the data into the same exact fields that it was before, only pretty relevant time. And then you can refine by date. And I can refine by date. I can drag and drop these cursors. And, and this, these are very general, very general visualizations. So um, we can create much more visual, visual aids that, that allows you to kind of get to what you're looking for a lot simpler. You know, we're just trying to show people in the easiest way for it that these are available. But right? the, the, the thing on the right-hand side, that's sorting by metadata, and you can sort by whatever metadata field you want, right? Yeah, I could say, you right. know, I want to close this date, and I only want these documents, because I know it was before 2013. Let me get that put in that right there. <laughs> hey, Wonderful. Oh, by the way, by the way, hey, if, if you want to find out, look, one of the things that we have found out using this, because we've been on a few customers and we've had access, you want to find out where problems are? Search for cuss words across your yeah, entire organization. You'll find the you'll find the greatest stuff to read. Well, look, look on that point because um, you know, as a uh, trial lawyer, I'll go with you know I'll get documents from the other side, which is going to be ninety percent email. I'll get documents from third parties through a subpoena, and. Uh, uh, if you index those, I mean, can you use that for for litigation purposes? Absolutely. Yeah. And here's another great feature too. Like here's a lit here's something for for a litigation uh, for litigation, um, John, that you aren't even aware of. Uh, you see this quarterly report here, and I've decided this could be any report. This could be the document that you're looking for, John, from litigation. I can say, show me the view the associated email, and it sends me right to the email that that document was sent from. I know immediately who sent it, and then that's how I can build my data map tree. Okay, that's what, there's, that's what you're looking for. That's the genesis. Great, Rich, tell me everywhere that email and document have been. Click, and it'll give it to you and put it right up. Yeah, one of the things we wanted to maintain is we want the capability of searching emails and full text search of all the attachments. Uh, basically, all the attachments are converted to text, so we can search over them. But as we're presenting them, since we've given them structure, we maintain the relationship between the email and all their attachments. So you can work your way back and forth. Whichever one you find first, you could always uh, work your way backwards. So it's searching PDFs as well. That's yes. correct. Wow. Yep. So this searches so this searches yeah, every file text. format. So you're searching your emails and your attachments at the same time. You're searching every file format of attachment. Obviously, if it's an image, we can't search an image, right? But anything that has a text on now, if it's an image of a PDF, we can we can immediately kick it into OCR and bring it back so it's not initially indexed in. It's saying this has a problem and it's kicked off to an OCR program. And OCR does what it does and then it puts it back into where it should be in the file collective. It just takes another minute or two for it to